hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel on this day we took a full day tour to the arusha national park this park is located around 40 minutes from arusha town and it boasts uh, the world's largest giraffe population so you cannot miss a giraffe on this tour they also have zebras they have lots of elephants they have buffaloes uh, gazelles and many other animals they do not however have lions these come in seasonally from neighboring parks uh, but at the moment when we visited they did not have those the Arusha National Park has a number of activities to do first you can start with a walking game tour which was really interesting for us they call it a walking safari you just walk on foot you take photos very close to animals of course they give you a ranger uh, to walk with you so that you know in case of an emergency they know how best to handle it uh, you can also do the bone identification for the different animals it was an interesting exercise and the guide was very knowledgeable about all the different skulls what animals they belong to are they male or female and how to identify that the walking safari typically takes around uh, two hours we did one and 45 and we got to see a lot of warthogs and buffaloes and uh, lots of giraffes which was a highlight for me also the ranger is very knowledgeable about different herb species and wild medicinal plants so he was going around and showing us the different plants how they are used in teas or in herbal concussions and all that and i found that to be really interesting For this exercise you must definitely need to have on comfortable shoes uh, I went in with white shoes which was not the right choice because they got muddy and uh, water got they got water soaked pretty fast because the grass is uh, pretty wet and there are lots of, lots of rivers to skip on and a lot of mushy areas to walk on so I'd advise you wear comfortable shoes that are waterproof as well
stress and give it me the comfort, me cannot deny that. Feel all love in my heart, with my soul bright in my day. This river that flows within the Arusha National Park has one of the world's uh, largest fluoride concentration. So people who use it either for irrigation on their crops and all that, if you consume it one way or the, the other, you get the um, discoloration on the teeth, it's, which is very common in Arusha. Then we got to the giraffes these animals are just so majestic so peaceful i mean i could stand there and watch them just go about their day for hours i really really loved this experience just getting close to them taking photos and videos this was the highlight of this trip honestly also did you know that giraffes have some horns i did not know so they use the horns for fighting off predators and you know keeping themselves safe and also fighting with each other i got to learn that they do fight quite a lot so if like me you did not know they have horns now you know As part of the walking tour, we also got to see the Tululusia waterfall. If you wish, you can carry your swimsuit and, you know, get a cold shower from the falls. It's majestic. It's beautiful. For us, we had not uh, intended to swim since we were at Moshi just the previous day. So we just got pretty close to the falls and took nice photos. So as you go on the walking safari, in Arusha, make sure to pass by the Tululusia waterfalls. Another common feature in this park are the fig trees there are many they are huge and they're so interesting like this one was dedicated to prince charles and and uh, camilla um yeah just because they stood there once and discussed details about fig trees and uh yes we had to take photos by it the other common feature in this park is this other fig tree buds dropped uh, some seeds on an existing plant or tree rather and magically it just grew and they sprouted and they completely took over the host plant so it's called the fig tree arc uh, and it left such a huge space at the bottom uh, as you can see the cow was able to feed and they say even a huge elephant can be able to pass by it, it it's such a beautiful sight to behold this park is also home to very many different types of monkeys. Uh, as you can see, we came across some Columbus monkeys and I don't think I've seen them here before. I stand to be corrected, but yeah, they're beautiful. After this adventurous day, we went to Lake Momela. These are two lakes. These are big Momela and then the small Momela. Uh, it's a lake where you can do canoeing they have lots of flamingos they have some pretty picnic shades where you can just sit have a meal and i see it's a common culture for tour companies in tanzania to get you packed lunch from various restaurants ours was from kitamu cafe and it was truly very thoughtful after such an eventful day you can have your coffee and relax at Sawasawa Cafe in Arusha town. Such a beautiful laid back space. So that's it guys for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for liking and for engaging with my content. It shows me what type of content you guys like and what I should keep putting out there. So until the next video, goodbye.
Bye.